Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing on this fateful day? On this day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. You will rejoice and be glad in it. How many of you know that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore? Don't stop believing. This morning I came to let you know, don't stop believing. He's the wonder working God. He's the wonder working God. All power belongs to him. Don't stop believing. He is so good. He is so good. Even when you don't see the miracle as yet, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. He's faithful. Don't let that situation that you were in for years cause you to stop believing. Not because he doesn't heal you. He doesn't heal your family member. He doesn't heal your parents. He doesn't heal your brother, your sister, your friend. Means that you should stop believing. God is faithful. He's a wonder working God. So many miracles in the Bible he did. So many miracles of today he's doing. He's still moving. There's revival in the land. Souls are being set free. So don't you tell me that my God cannot do it. Don't stop believing. Not because God hasn't answered your prayer. I know you've prayed for something for a long time. You're saying this morning, I've been in this situation for so long. You're saying this morning, I had family members that died from COVID. You're saying this morning that my mother passed away from an illness. You're saying this morning that my friend was shot. My friend passed away. You have all these things running through your mind. But I came to tell you this morning, don't stop believing. He's a wonder working God. Look at Lazarus, my God. Lazarus was the friend of Jesus. Mary and Martha. And Jesus took his time to come and rescue Lazarus. But how many of you know that he was not late? He waited. Tell the situation got like that. So their eyes will be open to who he really is. He's the resurrection and the life. He's waited this long for your situation to become the way it is. For him to come and rescue you today. Open your eyes. Believe again. He's the wonder working God. Don't you tell me he can't do it. He can do it. I've seen it myself over and over. I'm a living witness. Yes, I am. I've prayed for people before. In particular, I've prayed for one lady before. With her hands all crimp, crumpled up. And I said to her, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in his miracles? Do you believe that he can do it for you? And she said, yes. And right before my eyes, her hands 
He came straight. So don't you tell me that he can do it. Yes, you've been years and years and wondering, God, where are you? God, my situation is so bad. God, I know some of you have questioned him. Question his love. Question even if he is still real. I know you guys have done it before. I've been there before. But I came to say this morning to you. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. The prodigals are returning. Sons and daughters are returning. Revival is upon the land. Don't stop believing in the God of the impossible. The God that turned water into wine. The God that healed the woman with the issue of blood. The God that rescued Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The God that rescued Daniel. From the lions, not from the den, from the lions. Don't you tell me he can do it. Believe again. Believe again. Believe. Press in. Believe. Don't give up. Believe again. Even though your situation is bad, it stinks, it, it, it's, it's rotten it now. Oh, but I come to tell you that God is going to show up. And even if he don't, he is still God all by himself. Don't stop believing. I just came to let you know that this morning. Don't stop believing. I love you. God is your peace. Have a blessed day and shalom. Remember, have faith.